Jada Chivas responds to followers accusing her of bleaching her skin. Yes, passion twist. The girls that get it, get it. Yo, I, I, I can't do this. Y'all, if each one of these people on my live come and take out a braid, I'll be done in like 30, 30 minutes. How about we do that? We need Desitate. Desitate. Yeah, they were supposed to tap in. If each one of y'all come and take out a um one of my braids, we'll be good. Y'all, I am not bleaching my skin. I got a chemical pill. I'm not going to answer that question no more. It never gave that. It never gives that. When you get a chemical pill, it rips the first layer of your skin. My, this is still fresh fresh skin. My color is going to come back very, very soon. I mean, probably by next week. I got a chemical pill. 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 And it's cold outside. Not even that it's cold outside. I got a chemical pill. This is still fresh skin. I'm saying, I still like, if I if I was to get... It's yeah, it's going to take a little longer. But I got a chemical pill. Y'all, y'all, y'all vibrations be in hell. Pick them up. Pick up the negative vibrations. Pick up the negative fucking vibrations. The world is beautiful. Life is fucking amazing. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Lee over there plucking up. Out that. Yes, I got my moles removed, and then I got a chemical pill. I'm not about to let y'all take me out my my element. Life is beautiful, baby. <laughs> I'm not. Y'all, y'all trying to trigger me. That a great baby, y'all wish y'all would. I got my moles removed and a chemical pill all in the same day. Yes, I don't have no rat tail comb. I got a rat tail comb. Period. What? Any, you got one? Yeah. Wait, that one you using? No, it's fine. Go ahead, finish. How y'all think I need to wear my hair next? I'm about to chop all my hair off. So... So we about to take out right... This is... Is this, is this low vibrational that I'm gonna laugh? Taking out braids. <laughs> is this low vibrational? No. <laughs> this is very low vibrational. I need I need y'all to entertain me. I'm gonna get a leave out. I'm gonna get me a little. I don't know. We figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, I got um, poor star did my chemical pill. Now I was lying about the finger finger waves. It's about to be a hell of a week. Tell them, Quine. But I was going to cut my hair, y'all. And I just was like, you know what? If I can't do my slick back bun, I'm not cutting my hair. I have to be able to do my slick back bun. That's like my go-to style. When If I can't do my slick back bun, I can't do the style. So the finger waves was already out of the um, equation. Side part. I never do side part. No, I don't have on no makeup. You could definitely cut higher than that. Okay, baby, who's to say my hair ain't grow? Who's to say my hair on this side ain't grow longer than that side? Don't be that girl. Mind your business. Talk about something you could definitely cut higher. <laughs> I know. Maybe it grew. Maybe it magically is growing as I'm talking to y'all in live. That's y'all problem. Y'all always in somebody's business. Chinese bangs. A French bang would be so cute, but honestly, I'm not messing up my new skin. <laughs> Shit. I am not trying to be breaking out. A swoop bang, a deep swoop bang. Y'all remember the swoop bangs and we used to put the little waves in them? Talk about some you could def cut higher. Ho, oh, what you trying to say? I'm bald head? Because that's what I got from that. And yes, you triggered me. I'm very upset. Fala lashes, fala la lashes, do my lashes. I always be tagging her. I always be tagging her. Hated those. I love those bangs. 
But yeah, like I was just looking at my outfits again as I got to the hotel. I'm like, hold up. The braids cute and all, but like I done played the braids for like five posts now. It's time to switch it up. All right, I definitely could cut higher. You right, sis. You know what? It's cool. You right. You right. I'm going to take them out. I mean, I'm going to cut higher. Girl, it's going to take you forever. I know. But I'm. what if I cut some of my long pieces? I don't want to cut all my hair. All right. Y'all right, though. Y'all right. Look at me. Mad because she low-key called me bald head. Let me just accept the fact that I'm bald head and listen to her instead of getting defensive. See? I'm, like, I'm really healing and growing, taking everything into consideration. So, I'm going to cut. Now, that's giving I'm cutting my hair. Nah, y'all... We bought too is crazy. <laughs> I hear it's crazy. Man, I ain't took braids out in so damn long. I need help. If all of y'all in the comments, if everybody in the comments come and cut, I mean, take one braid out, I'll be done. Oh, that thing just rolled on out. Leah is plucking her wig. Leave Leah alone. Let her pluck her wig. We all trying to do something right now. They said Leah over there. Why she not helping? Cause she she doing her. No, you don't gotta come right now. She's doing something. That's y'all problem. Mind y'all business. How y'all even know she was over there? <laughs> How y'all even know she was over there? Yo, tomorrow, I have a really big day. I'm so, uh, God is amazing. Like, seriously, he is so amazing. And I am like, everything I talked about, and I like say I be wanting, it really just falls in place, but right at the right time. I can't believe you're taking them down already. What? I feel like I had them for so long. I know I'm a mess. I like that's something I know. Like I know I'm a hot mess. Like I know. I know. Tomorrow is I got a lot of really big meetings. Like not no like like no like like these people want me in their office. Y'all gonna see. We ain't gonna talk about it. Y'all gonna see. We gonna see. Y'all gonna see. I'm excited though. See how they just coming right out. The next drop is hopefully either the end of this month or the first week in um the first weekend. Is that the unravel trick? Because that's kind of working. Wait, it's not working. That shit don't work. KB been ghost. KB been working. She used to always tap in with y'all on live. <laughs> you ain't been tapping in. You got tap in with your girls. You can't forget about your girls. Man. I don't care how um. I've been beat, man. I don't care how like much I be working. I be making sure I tap in with my girls. Like late, I've been on some different shit lately, but I still been making sure I tap in. Yeah, I do got tap in. Y'all, I got a um. Y'all, I got a chemical pill. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. This is still like baby skin. Like, you know, when a baby come out and it's like that first layer of skin. So, like, if I get my eyebrows waxed, I'll have cuts under my eyes. My skin is very raw and soft right now. So, I'm, I'm still using all the medicine, all the aftercare. I can't stop using it until 30 days. 
and then that's when my normal my melanin will come back but right now i'm still using all the products from my mold removal and my chemical pill it's pretty serious like chemical pills are intense if you ever had one you'll know the process that your skin got to go through when healing or recovering from a chemical pill so i'm still in the recovery process it's only been like three weeks two weeks two weeks Yeah, I can still wear makeup, but like really light. That's why I haven't gotten my makeup professionally done yet because I don't want to put too much makeup on and then my skin be like raw when I'm taking it off. So I've just been like doing my own face really, really light because if I do my own, if I let somebody do my makeup professionally, they going to do it heavy and then I'm going to have to be scrubbing to get my makeup off. It's going to be like a mess. But I said maybe for the party, I'm going to try to get it done. I'm going to just have to coach the girl as she doing it so I won't be... um so she could do it really light and not too heavy because taking it off is going to hurt. Like my skin, everything irritates my skin right now. And I can't be in the sun. Exactly. Ah. Y'all are very low vibrational. Honestly... Let me let me share something with y'all. So like I've always been like a pretty like I, I always had good energy. I believe in like not letting shit throw me off. But like before I even had followers and stuff, like when I was still in like middle school, like on Facebook and shit. And like um this is just free game by the way. When I was like Facebook, MySpace days and like following celebrities and like liking celebrities i would never in my mind like have the courage to even like speak on a situation that didn't have nothing to do with me i just feel like that's very low vibrational and weird for people to like get on the internet it, it, it don't even have to be against a, a celebrity or somebody of status it's just like what possesses y'all in y'all right mind to get on the internet and talk shit about somebody that you don't know? I don't, I just feel like that's crazy. Like, I remember that time they was pulling up everybody's tweets and they was like, we can't find nothing on Jada. Like, bitch, I never was talking about, I just never found it in me to talk about celebrities like BET Awards and stuff back when like the whole city would be talking about celebrities and stuff. I was like, oh no. Y'all ain't about to catch me slipping. And look, I sit in the same rooms with these people. I'm so glad I never said nothing about these people. But it happens. Like, I just never been on that. But what possesses y'all to get on the, the internet and talk about somebody you don't know? I just think that's very low vibrational. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.